Welcome to Healthy Planet, the show for people who care about their health and the health of our planet on the Think Tech live streaming network series. I'm your host, Dr. Grace O'Neill. Joining me today are Lorraine Sakaguchi and Carol Janicek from the Vegan Society of Hawaii, better known as the Vegetarian Society of Hawaii. Today, we're going to talk about what's new with VSH. So, Carol, can you tell us what inspired you guys to change the name from the Vegetarian to the Vegan Society of Hawaii? Well, we've always really advocated for a vegan diet, and our group is open to everybody, and we want everyone to feel welcome. But when the group started years ago in the early 1990s, um, we they they used Vegetarian Society of Hawaii because nobody even knew the word vegan. All these years have transpired now, and it just felt like the right time to change the name to express who we actually, what we're actually doing and uh, who we actually are. But again, we're still open to anybody who's interested, even if they're not ready to follow being a vegan, having a vegan diet and um, vegetarians who are lacto-ovo vegetarians or eat fish, we welcome them as well. We want everybody to feel that they can come here and learn and enjoy and socialize. So Lorraine, can you tell us about what VSH has been up to since the pandemic? Okay, so we were originally going to wait the few months we thought it would take to be able to resume our uh, in-person events. And that didn't happen as everyone in the world knows. Um, so we started to do uh, Zoom talks by some really wonderful people. And uh, for example, uh, recently, we so what that screen shows is our television program. We have a weekly television program called Vegan that shows on Olelo Channel 54 and sometimes in other community TV uh, stations as well. And uh, we put all of our speakers on uh, that so that people who missed the original event will get to see it. And we have a lot more people doing that. So we're really thrilled being able to address a much wider audience. So that is Dr. Kim Williams. He was the top and is the top uh, cardio, uh, cardiologist in the country. He was the president of the American College of Cardiology. And we were so thrilled to have him just a couple of weeks ago, uh, give a talk for us via Zoom on nutrition and mortality in the dual pandemic. And you'll get to see that in a couple of weeks on television. This is uh, Dr. Colin Zhu, who just did a cooking demo over at, in Wailuku on Maui last night. And today, uh, right now, he's over at Govinda's. Uh, we're doing an in-person dine out with him. That's a vegan lunch. And tomorrow over at Down to Earth in Kailua, we're hosting a wonderful session where he's doing a talk and cooking demo for us and giving out lots of free vegan samples of his food. So if you're able to see this program before that date tomorrow on Saturday, 4 p.m., uh, September 3, please come and join us. It's gonna be that exciting. delicious, Lorraine. Yeah. <laughs> this guy could go, yeah. Tell us about the next speaker, Carol, um, the speaker for next month. Oh, Dr. Campbell, he's so well known. He was um, the author of the China study and um, he's just a superstar in the vegan community and the health community. Um, I'm very excited that he's coming. This is going to be a Zoom lecture, but um, we're so privileged to have him. He's um, it's going to be a really special event. I think maybe Lorraine might want to add something. I, um, she might have some other details, actually. Lorraine, do you want to add anything about Dr. Campbell? Well, only that we're very privileged. I think everything Carol said was correct. And we're very privileged to have him because we have on our board as our uh, person who uh, gets speakers to come and talk for us. Dr. Ruth Heydrich, who's really famous for her Race for Life book and for uh, being a star on the Forks Over Knives documentary. We're so lucky and privileged to be able to work with her. 
and she's a friend of Pico and Campbell. Uh, and it was so easy, you know, it, it was wonderful to be able to have her be able to get them to talk for us. So can we look at the pictures of prior events now? Sure. So tell us about this, Carol, what was this? Oh, that was Dr. Greger's lecture. He gave such a fantastic lecture. He um, is the person who started the site on nutritionfacts.org, which has all these short little videos of every topic that you can think of health related topics. And um, he's known worldwide. Anyway, he came out in person to speak to us and the room was just packed. And he's quite uh, funny as well as being uh, so brilliant. And uh, we had a great time. And I know he went to, uh, I think he went to um, Kauai, didn't he? And, or, or Maui actually. Maui, Maui, yeah. He went to Maui. Maui. And they had a huge crowd as well. Um, the room funny. was just packed. Um, it, it, was, it was kind of a little thrill to have him there actually. That's all I can say. He's got, he's the author of a bunch of different books, How Not to Die. Uh, when people hear that, they say, what do you mean? We're all going to die. But it's really about how not to die of diabetes, of heart disease. So if you haven't seen those books, it's really worth checking them out. He's got also the How Not to Diet books and cookbook. Um, really good stuff. What was this, Lorraine? This was over at Foster Botanical Garden on Oahu. And uh, one of our board members, Jeff Pang, set it up. Uh, Jeff Pang has also been the head of a couple of our groups that uh, emphasize, for example, grow your own food. So it's all about learning how to garden and do uh, sustainable, uh, edible uh, gardening as well. And another one where we did a vegan potluck. This is the vegan potluck group and I think our uh, Grow Your Own Food group together. And we met for the last pre-COVID Midsummer Night Gleam uh, get together uh, at the Foster Botanical Bar Garden for this wonderful, huge picnic uh, vegan potluck. It was amazing. What was this? This was over at the University of Hawaii campus. It's the uh, week that the uh, kids, there are the students move into their dorms and uh, they set up a lot of tables um, for uh, the kinds of uh, things, the activities that the kids might be interested in. And this was to sign them up for learning about uh, Vegan Society of Hawaii events, which was at that time still called the Vegetarian Society of Hawaii. So there are some of our volunteers along with some of the students. How about this, Carol? That's a picture of you. <laughs> <laughs> So because uh, Aloha Animal Sanctuary was going to be doing a lecture and they invited a, a group of people from the Vegetarian Society to come and have a tour of the sanctuary. It was so fun. They, they have uh, just, um, the animals there are very friendly. They're, it's not a petting zoo by any means, but the goats and, and um, all the animals, they, they seem to wander up and they want attention, especially the goats. They're so cute. And uh, we had a good time. The, the sanctuary is a really a beautiful place. They really thought it out, um, put a lot of love and uh, care into it to make sure that they're taking proper care of the animals and uh, made me really appreciate it even more. I had done some volunteer work over there working on um, planting trees and laying mulch and things but this time I felt even a little closer to it so it was a nice experience. Uh, we should note that the uh, that event happened uh, just a few weeks ago so this yeah. is one of our more recent events. How about this? That is what used to be our annual event and we hope to resume <laughs> it after COVID. Uh, every year we've had a very large uh, Thanksgiving vegan feast where uh, we have a lot of people come together. And um, I'm not sure whether we're gonna be able to do it again this year, but hopefully certainly next year. And uh, we had hundreds of people coming in the past. How about this? What is this, Lorraine? That's our Vegan uh, Society of Hawaii uh, newsletter. 
And this shows uh, what it looks like, the front page. And it's a colorful uh, newsletter. Uh, if you get it online, you, uh, it's also an interactive one. Um, we feature a lot of uh, local uh, authors as well as uh, some mainland ones. And uh, I don't know anything else to say about it. And <laughs> <laughs> maybe Grace can make it. Lorraine works very hard on that. Lorraine works yes. very hard on that newsletter. She's That's what I wanted to add. Who, yeah, who does that? So. Um, but it's very well, worth, you know, it's very worth reading. There's a recipe usually in it. And there's a lot of uh, recent vegan events in the newsletter as well that people would be interested in. And then I wanted to ask uh, you guys, um, Carol, if you can tell us about joining the Vegan Society of Hawaii, what are the benefits, for instance, to joining? Biggest benefits are that you are joining a group of people that have like-minded ideas and um, you can a group that you can socialize with, but you're also supporting a group that is doing good things in the community. And um, it's not, it's, it's inexpensive, but it's really a worthwhile thing. We also have a lot of different restaurants and groups that provide discounts. So you get, um, like if you go to Down to Earth, you can get discounts on daily items that you purchase, um, the prepackaged meals or thing, or something you order from the deli, cookies, things like that. Um, if you go to lots of the restaurants um, that we have in the area, uh, they'll give you between a five or 10% discount on your meals. Um, or other special offers it's it's really nice and you know that you're supporting something really special so lorraine what restaurants can you say off the top of your head um that you can get discounts from well uh, let's see loving hut simple joy uh peace cafe umeke market uh, olena cafe uh govinda's vegetarian buffet um and many more. A couple of smiles. Yeah, a couple of smiles and banan. Oh, the ripple smiles, right? Banan. Oh, I forgot about banan. That's right. Peace mm -hmm. Cafe. Isn't there Peace Cafe? Govindas. You mentioned yeah. that. <laughs> Peace Cafe, Govindas, um, um, Himalayan Kitchen, I think, is one. Himalayan Kitchen. Is and that still open? I don't. I don't know if it's still open. Is it? Oh, uh, sorry, I'm not in Kaimuki. <laughs> The yeah. Down to Earth uh, Deli, you can uh, go and eat there, and uh, we always get a 5% off from all, for all the food you eat there. Isn't there some stuff on Maui and the other islands as well? Yes, we have a number of uh, different uh, restaurants on uh, Maui, Kauai, and even the Big Island. I don't know if these are open, but it says Maui Burgers, Maui Roots, Fork and Salad, Earth Aloha Eats. Mm -hmm. On Kauai, there's um, a whole bunch over there as well. Right. The, um, what was I going to say about this? Oh, then there are some discounts that you get no matter where you live. Even if you are uh, belong to BSH and you live on the mainland or even internationally, there's some uh, internet discounts you can get. And, uh, or you can even tour the world and veg voyages and get a discount as well because you belong to the uh, Vegan Society of Hawaii. So it's uh, pretty useful. I did that one. Oh, really? Where did <laughs> yeah, you go to Veg Voyages? I haven't heard of Veg Voyages. I mean, like I, oh. I saw that on there, but I didn't know where you could go. What kind of options did I have? I went to India and um, we had a, a three week tour on India and um, it was pretty great. Um, it's definitely something to look into if you're interested in doing that kind of travel. They, um, I'm not sure where else they go. I really only researched that because I was planning to go to India anyway. But you know, all the food is vegan on the veg voyages. Is it all vegan or? Um, all the food is vegetarian. That's the plan. So I'd say when you're traveling in a foreign country, you still need to be very careful. But that is the intention, and and that's um, 
I know that they worked hard to do that, but I can't promise that everything was. Um, I'm certainly hoping that it was, but um, I don't want to say absolutely you're going to have that. So you just have to be very careful and try to be aware as well. But um, it was very helpful because they took me to places. Um, well, there was a small group and we went to places that we'd never have been able to go on our own. That's cool. Um, Pretty cool. So it was. That's cool. Yeah, it was, it was a special trip. Oh, I'd like to mention that a lot of people, uh, we're very grateful to um, the uh, people who want to become members for whatever reason, because they support us. Uh, we're an all volunteer group and we've been around since 1990 doing this as an all volunteer group and uh, we're basically an outreach educational uh, thank you <laughs> uh, uh, group uh, that uh, we try to promote human health animal rights and protection of the environment but we don't sit around talking to ourselves uh, we really welcome people who are not even vegetarian, still meat eaters, still, you know, uh, and uh, we really are thrilled to have them with us because they're showing an interest in what we do and want to support us. And we're very grateful for that. So one of the ways we thank everybody who uh, is a member is to be, uh, you know, um, you get, once you get your membership card, there's so many discounts you can get at a, a whole lot of people uh, that are, uh, if they're not vegan or vegetarian, they're uh, veg friendly businesses and we thank them very much for their participation and support. So what can people do if they're interested in getting involved in VSH? How do they get more involved? They can call our VSH phone number that's listed at our website or on uh, just go to our website and uh, they can, uh, email us at info at vsh.org and let us know they're interested. Um, there's also a little box to check off if you become a member that says that you're interested in volunteering. We're always thrilled to hear from anyone. So, so Carol, what do we, what, what does VSH need help with currently? Oh gosh, when um, I think we need people that do everything from video editing to um, fooling around and, and fixing up things online for us, like um, maybe our book list. I'm actually trying to do that now, but I'm working rather slowly. Um, to when we start up meetings again, someone that will help us set up or break down or sweep the floor. And there's so many different types of things that we would love to have volunteers come and help us with. Does that help? Yes, that does help. <laughs> People are probably wondering how to get involved. Um, and then Lorraine wanted to mention something that Carol made for people who, I mean, uh, you know, there's a lot of disaster kind of stuff that they sell at Costco and it's not very plant-based diet friendly, but Carol actually put together a dining um, disaster Dining during a disaster. Dining during I, have, I, mean, I created this brochure. Um, the reason I did this is I was very, I've been very involved with the CERT group. That's the Community Emergency Response Team. And they have all these flyers of, um, you know, food packages that you would make for yourself to be prepared when the hurricane is coming or, or something like that. And most of them, involved junk food and a lot of things like spam and um, other heavy foods that aren't necessarily healthy. Um, so I put together a list of um, different items. It's actually, I mean, this is just completely full of different things that you can pack. I know nobody's going to be able to see this um, very well, but um, can they get it somewhere if they can't see it? I mean, is it online? Um, the, I, I, that's a good idea. We should post this online. On we'll have it on dsh.org. We'll have it on dsh.org. Okay, cool. Okay. And um, so we actually, um, because I created this, we were invited to go to an emergency preparedness fair at, um, it was at the Windward Mall in Kaneohe. And, um, 
passed these out. And it, it, so it was fun. I created um, a small version of a go, go box for meals to show people. And um, we passed out samples that Down to Earth provided for us. Um, I was able to talk to people and tell them uh, uh, little tricks that they could use, like for instance, um, dehydrated foods versus, um, uh, you know, well, anyway, the, I was able to explain a lot of things and there was a lot of interest. So it was quite, kind of nice. And even people from the CERT community, the community emergency response team were kind of excited about my brochure, the people that saw it. So, um, I'm going to update this for better graphics later, but this is the complete form and um, I'm, I'm excited to present it. So I want to talk about the website a bit, the VSH.org website, right? Um, yeah. Can you tell us what it has on it, like resources for people who are interested in going plant-based, Lorraine? Yes. Um, what it has on the website, are, is a library of our uh, videos of the speakers we've had. So there's a huge amount of information available there. There are recipes also on this website, uh, printed recipes. Um, we have our list of, uh, we have a our famous dining guide, which was around way before Happy Cow, <laughs> uh, places where you could dine and get uh, some uh, plant-based food on, uh, on Oahu, Maui, Big Island, Kauai, and so on, complete with maps. Uh, so you can uh, go and figure out where where you are and where to go. The, cool. Yeah, we also have uh, our past newsletters. We have uh, we have videos that a lot of people don't know about from our Kauai group. Our Kauai group has a wonderful videographer named uh, Robert Zelkowski. And uh, so we have some great talks there too, if you'd like to see them. The, uh, we have just a huge amount of wonderful talent uh, among our volunteers. And I uh, hope you enjoyed the website. Well, thank you so much, guys. We're out of time and we're gonna have to wrap it up. I'm Dr. Grace O'Neill. This is Healthy Planet on the Think Tech live streaming network series. We've been talking with the Vegan Society of Hawaii. Thanks to Michael, our broadcast engineer and the rest of the crew at Think Tech for hosting our show. And thanks to you, our listeners, for listening. I'll see you on September 16th for more of Healthy Planet on ThinkTech, the show for people who care about their health and the health of our planet. My, my special guest will be Level 5 or Level V808. If you have ideas for the show or questions about my future guests, please contact me at healthyplanetthinktech at gmail.com. Check out my website at graceinhawaii.com or Instagram at gracefulliving365 for more information on my projects, including future show guests. I'm Dr. Grace O'Neill. Aloha, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.